But what's up, chat? What's up, YouTube? This is the Need a Podcast, episode 91. And I am glad there was an EA stream today. I'm happy because, I, you know, I had some things to talk about. I made up some topics. But listen, they gave me plenty of fire to talk about. Now, honestly, normally I roast you guys, you know. I roast the chat. But say we might roast Clinton Agent K. Because, first of all, one, number 91, we came to the conclusion last week, episode 91, Fletcher Cox is the best 91 in the league, probably ever. But, so they have this EA stream, man, and, and Agent K is wild. Like, who are you? My man said, nah, I'm not Kralo no more, I'm Agent K. Bro, we're, I'm telling you, we're, we're going all in on the comic book theme right now. We are going all in on the comic book theme over here at EA. All in. If you are not peeping how we're going all in on the comic book theme, we're going all in. Agent K. Agent. I was like, bro, I could not. Like, right, come on, bro. That can't be. I mean, first of all, I don't. I don't know if Kralo. I don't know if Kralo is his real name. I'm really not sure. I don't think it's his real name. But that name was pretty cool. The Agent K that threw me off, bro. I really couldn't. I don't know if it's always been Agent K the whole time, but that was just like weird to me, bro. Like, I don't know. Maybe I should just be Agent Dub from here on out. I'll be Agent Dub. That's how y'all refer to me now. I mean, comics are cool. I listen. I'm not the real football nerd. That wants my video game real football-y, man. I grew up in Madden 08, and Madden 08 was the most cartoon shit ever. And it was an absolute blast. You know, so I'm not the real football purist that wants, you know, all the... So the cartoon era, I mean, listen. If it's done right, it's the way to go. Or not. I don't know if it's the way to go, but it's uh, it could be done well, really. Y'all call me Agent Dub, bro. Agent Dub, all right? Agent D might be tough. Agent D might be tough. Marvel Journey instead of Journey Disney Journey. That's a good point. So, um, there was a stream today. Like I said, it, it's this is the dog days. Shit, this is the dog days of Madden. Like I honestly, this is the dog days of Madden. Um. It's tough to think about, man. This is the 13th month, 13th month of Madden 20, chat. The 13th month of Madden 20, and um, I'll tell you, it's a rough one. It's a rough one. Obviously, there's no content. Obviously, there's no games to play. Obviously, we're all absolutely bored and awaiting the new game. But this month seems like it's moving a lot slower. I was having fun playing Madden in June, July. Right now, I, I, I want to run away and hide, and it's like... It, I want to run away and hide right now and wait until the new Madden comes out. I'm super excited for that. Um, so it's been rough. But today I got blessed because there was an EA stream we can talk about. You know, all the topics I had came up with today, push those to next week. Because we can talk about this EA stream and Agent K. Agent K was breaking down facts. I said, now, before we get into this, I'm going to laugh at them. People, but they are good guys. They're my friends. We're going to laugh and we're going to talk. But at the end of the day, good stream. Good job. I felt like I watched it. I felt like I most of the questions I had answers to, uh, they answer. Or I had questions to, they answered, and and I thought they did a good job. I thought they spoke well. I thought they they hit every single point. So all in all, good stream. You know, I appreciate it, and we have to continue to uh, what you call it to communicate our appreciation for those streams because they are definitely a super positive. Uh, going forward, you know, uh, and it's nice to see Clint. I, I I would honestly, I don't know if I would ever want Clint's job. You know, I don't think Clint can say anything or do anything well and ever get recognition for it. You know, I think he's in such a tough spot. It seems like a thankless job. You know, I, I think it's a rough spot, you know, and everything he says, people just absolutely kill. I will tell you what, you know, the franchise guys need to shut the fuck up, dude. Oh, my God. Bro, every single top. Like. Oh, my. Like, anybody feel that? Like, bro. They just, like, bro. Like, seriously. Somebody just needs to tell them to shut the fuck up, man. Like, 
Bro, every little topic about Madden, they turn into franchise, man. Like, seriously. Like, shut, bro. Like, I'm telling you, those people will never, they will never, ever be satisfied. They'll never be satisfied. Well, CJ's the man. CJ's on, listen, CJ is on Twitch. And uh, he grinds Twitch a lot. So for me, I'm I'm cool with all CJ CJ Anderson, uh, um, what you call it, promotion or CJ Anderson hype. Honestly, bro, no, the Fix Madden franchise, them dudes, yo, dead ass. Like they they have come to a point where they are just miserable trolls. They really are. Like it's it's honestly like they did franchise. I don't want to get into the franchise, man. I honestly. I enjoy playing the game. I, I I could give a shit less about little extra features. I really could. I, I'm here in the spot that I'm at because I love just playing the game. You know, I, I, I love the gameplay. And that's what I love. So the extra features for me, um, you're not going to hit a nerve with me when it comes to the extra features. My man, Saibo. Let's go, man. Eight months. You know, so for me... Yeah, like, I, I just... The franchise guys are just annoying at this point. Like, bro, like, y'all got your points across, you know? My man Chig's in the chat, man. But uh, it just, it, every little topic became franchise. Not franchise, but every topic. And, and, and Agent K, it got to the point where Agent K... My man Agent K had to come in and do a public service announcement before the stream even started, cause he knew the hell fires of brim, brim, what's it called, brimstone hell fires were gonna rain down on the stream if he didn't address franchise mode. I don't know, dude. I, dude, I've always been a CFM. Guy. I've played more CFM guy than most of y'all. I played the shit out of CFM, but for me. Regardless whether I'm playing CFM, pickup games, exhibition, online, it's at the end of the day, it's about the gameplay. For me, you know, the rest of the shit was like, I honestly, I just spammed A to get through it. Really. So the French, honestly, the French, I, I'm telling you, if I keep seeing this shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a big ass argument with French. I'm telling you, if you guys are gonna support me, bro, I'm gonna start airing these dudes out. Like, sir, I'm, I'm, I've had enough. I've had enough. No, it's it's not even, they want to do too much extra shit, man. I'm I'm telling you, I'm this close to snapping on the franchise community again. I'm 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 close. I'm close. I'm close. Because like I said, I have played for me the game is 98% about gameplay. Cuz as a Madden player, right? As a Madden head, I'm going to play Madden for for the next year. Like, half of my life or half of my year is spent looking at Madden. As crazy as it is, like, what, 365 days? 170 or 180 days, I'm staring at Madden. Like, literally at a time. Like, it's going to be hours and hours of me playing Madden. So, all cosmetic shit just naturally becomes, like, you don't even notice it anymore. You know? The dream of all NFL fans is to run an NFL team. Is that your dream, Chet? No, seriously. Is if you could if you could do one thing, would would like if you is your dream? No, seriously. Is your dream to run a team or to play quarterback? Like, what would you pick? I would want to play quarterback. That's me. Talk to me. Now, my man said that the dream is to run an NFL team. And honestly, here's another thing. Like, as far as GM. As far as GM's concerned, right? That's a good question. Some people really want to run the team. I'm not killing if that's what you guys want. As far as the GM nature of it, man, like when you watch your favorite team, essentially, fate for sure. Now, say you watch your favorite, all right, Jeezy, we're really getting close to turn. We're really about to turn off the not the plebs. It's about to be sub only in the chat in a little bit. Calm down, plebs. Relax. But... For me, when you watch your favorite team, right, do you get more mad at, like, the play calling and the coaching or the front office? And honestly, for, for CFMs, 
I feel like you can do most of the front office shit that pisses us all off, really. I, I, that's how I feel. I feel like I can draft who I want and sign who I want and trade for who I want, honestly. But I feel like I got into Madden because you get to control the play calling and the game plan and all that stuff, you know? You know? So I don't know. I, I see. I don't want to overstate the franchise thing. Be talking about like I always talk about like hot dog prices, and it's not that, bro. That's like the extreme. If there's someone that really wants to change hot dog prices, bro, you gotta hit the bricks. I'll be honest. It's more like I don't know what it is. Training camp, the mini drills for for point like. The mini drills they used to have in Madden was tough. And then if you, like, got five stars on a mini drill, maybe you got a point of acceleration or something like that would be cool. My man Ramirez right there with a tier one, man. Thank you, man. Madden should make it so you wear your own uniform. I disagree. Now, I will tell you that. I disagree with the custom uniforms because 98% of you guys would have terrible uniforms and we'd have giant penises on everybody's helmet. That's why I play MLB. There is no out out of out of 100 if I play 100 people, 3 people have jerseys that aren't hideous to look at. Seriously. Custom jerseys is a L. But all right, play crazy. All right, we're going too far. We're going off on a tangent for what we want in the game. No. All I'm saying is the franchise guy need to shut the fuck up. All right? That's it. Get ready to play Madden. Have fun playing Madden. I'm tired of seeing this shit. Every little comment. Every little, oh, this is our new ability. Look at this. Oh, fix franchise mode. All you're worried about is abilities and superheroes. Every comment on Twitter is franchise nerds, bro. That's all. I'm I'm just, uh, shut up, bro. Seriously. Go to, you know what I mean? Uh, every comment. Every single comment. No, I don't want anything custom because it will all be penises and I, I know how it works. All right, but this is my first time. As I turn on now, you got now. This is this isn't Madden related. This is as I turn on this chat. All right, so we got my man Agent K sitting here, right, and we got Clint. Both a little goofy looking. I'll be honest. Like, I mean, both are kind of goofy looking, right, Chad? I mean, they're not. I don't want to say they're they're bad looking, but they're kind of goofy looking. Like this, if this was a superhero pair, you know, they they, they might could get it done. As superheroes, Agent K and Clint, you know? Clint looks a little goofy. He's a little goofy looking. All right, but this is my one of my number one questions, man. I see these toys. Now, I have these toys, right? These little McFarlane toys. All right. Right? Why the hell do people can't? I don't, I don't want to hear the sound of the video. I want to add that. I don't want to hear the sound. Uh, Y'all heard the sound, bro. It's not, we'll talk about what they talked about. But so I have these toys, right? But my man has them in the box and taped on the wall or displayed on the wall in the box. Now, explain to me why they keep... I, I think this is a Sean Taylor. This looks super tough as a Sean Taylor. Why do they keep... Like Honestly, why do they keep the toys in the box? Talk to me about that. Like collectibles or anything, because I am so anti keep it in the box, right? Because I have I, I have these things all over. I, like I have probably sixty to seventy McFarland toys. I have all these pops. Uh, I have a bunch of shit. Now value, okay? They keep their value, okay? Hear me out on this. At what point? No, 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 I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It looks absolutely fucking terrible. That's what's wrong with it. That's what I think is... The, the McFarlane's look cool as shit. If you display them, take them out, boom, right? Okay. Now, here it is. Don, that's my point. Okay. Now, at what point do you sell? That's my point. At what point do you sell them shits? What type of psycho... Collect Listen, you have to be like a hardcore collector to start selling them shits. No, like seriously, when do you sell? That's my question. Okay, we get more money. But at what point? Okay, in 50 years, I mean, this is my question. This is what I say. In 50 years, you can sell it. Okay, why not wait 60 years? Why would you sell them? At, okay, you can give them kids. Okay, can I agree? But why would I sell them in 50 years and not 60 years? That's my point. 
if you're going to wait 50 years, you might as well wait 100 and give them to your kids and your grandkids, right? I sell them when I double what I pay for. All right, to me, I right, just why stop? That's my that, that that's essentially my question I get. When do you then sell them? And what do you do with them? Like Clint has them on the wall. Does he take it down now and say, you know, I'm going to sell this next week because I get double what I want? It's like I don't know, dude. All right, and that's my point. The main event. Okay, LeBron's rookie card sold for a million coins, right? In, in or a million dollars in 17 years. What if he wait 20? What if he'd wait 30 years? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, Clint had him delivered for the stream. I mean, it's not necessarily Clint. I see a lot of people like that, and it's like, bro, what? I, and honestly, let me hear you. I feel like baseball cards are different. Because let me hear you this about baseball cards. Baseball cards really don't have a value outside of a case. Like, they're the same if they're in a nice little baseball card case or if they're outside of the case. So there's nothing wrong with obviously taking a baseball card and putting it in some type of sleeve to protect it. You know, but the but those little action figurines, dude, they look like shit in the box. I don't know, dude. Yeah, that's uh, cards are way different, you know. But for me, it's just for me, it's just I I don't understand it because I have a ton of them shits, like a ton of them, like more than Clint, like five times as much as Clint. But they look cool as hell when they're just displayed. You know what I'm saying? So to me, that's why I asked you guys, man. Like, what is like the... I, yeah. And then and my point is, obviously, I understand it because then you can sell them. But for me, when is the time that you sell them? You know? Like, is that going to save you if all of a sudden you go bankrupt? Is your fucking collection of sports figures going to save you? Huh? I don't think it really is. But that's why I asked you guys. I think they look absolutely terrible. Hulk, compared to how they could look outside of the box, I think they look... You look like you're... It looks like Walmart. How do they not look bad in a box? It literally looks like Walmart. Like you're walking down like, I want this, I want that. Seriously. How could you possibly want to display boxes? Like, what? I don't know. I, I will never be in a collection of stuff for profit. Um, I think I'd be I, everything I buy and collect is for my own enjoyment. Yeah. I don't know. They are plastic see-through boxes. They are the same. They, they, it looks like Walmart. Like literally, it's going through the Walmart, man. Yeah, peace. I got a bunch too. Shoot. I got I got I got too much to display in this room. I have too many. I have a whole I have a whole like foot locker just filled with action figures, honestly. Well not action figures, you know what I mean? Like uh like Kobe's and, and basketball players. I got like LeBron's. Most of my basketball players are still in there. All my football players are up on the shelf. Yeah, I just like I don't know. I, I never understood the I'm gonna keep it in the box. It's just weird. It's just it's just like weird. And honestly, this is my point. You wanna keep it in the box, bro? Put that shit in the garage. Put it in storage. You know, you're going to sell that in 50 years. It doesn't need to be up on the window. You know what I'm saying? Oh, look at this. Look what I got. Yeah, you're going to take... Yeah, ain't nobody selling them shits. Nobody's selling them shits. My favorite... McF I, I don't know, dude. Probably the, the Dawkins is a little fucked up. Like, he don't stand straight. Michael Vick. I got, like, every Eagle person they put out, honestly. But that's just one thing. That's the first thing I noticed. I hate it. It's it, it just like, I want to talk to these people and be like, what's up? Like, who told you to do this? Because I don't think Clint is a guy, a guy that's going to go sell action figures in 40 years. Is he going to sell, when, he, when he's in a walker, is he going to go sell action figures to make 40 bucks? Nah. But anyway, that's my first, that was my first thing I wanted to talk about. Then we talk about the card art. Now we go from action figures to action comic books. And this is where the fight, this is where it's like, bro, the, the, and talk to me about this card. Honestly, um, I'm a man, I like a lot of diversity in the card art. You know, if you can have one cartoon one, 
one uh, realistic, one black and white one, one freeze. I think Madden does a pretty good job with the card art. Now, you guys tell me, does Madden, do you guys think Madden does a good job with the card art? For me, I would say yes. I think it's pretty cool. Honestly, I, I think it's uh, pretty pop. And now, I really don't know. Skimble falls asleep for everything, bro. Yeah, well, Clinton, Clint's a pretty, I mean, I don't want to say Clinton's boring, but he's just, he's just a, he's just deliberate, I guess. He just says what needs to be said. There's no pizzazz or anything like that. Like, they're not going to put off, you know, fireworks for a show to where they talked about really nothing, honestly. But the card art for me, the card art is cool. Now we got this. This is, this is, I guess this is the card art chat. Is this card art? This, honestly, if we're being serious, if we're being guys, this looks pretty cool. Being real. I, looks pretty cool. W or L, chat. That's what I want to know, man. I think this thing looks pretty cool. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, obviously, ankle breaker. Looks like leapfrog. I don't know why this is, I don't know why this is ankle breaker. Looks like leapfrog. Honestly, I don't think this is going to be a card art. It might be, but... We'll see. Conrad Javier. And here's some other ones. It looks cool, man. I'm assuming just as illustration on a computer. Um, really awesome. I, 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 as an artist, really enjoy stuff like this. Um, Derek Henry. This looks... I mean, it's, it looks cool. You know? And I, this one looks super tough. And for me... Um, Saquon to Don. For me... Now, going forward, one of the best one of the best features that they put in the game was being able to choose which card art you want to display. That was awesome. Honestly, it really was. So hopefully these can become some some option for running backs and maybe for every position, really. Um, it's just a matter of do they want to pay this guy, Conrad Javier, you know? And I wonder how much he makes to make these. Or if Conrad Javier would do this pro bono if they put his car put his artwork in the game because before today man you had no idea who conrad ha conrad javier is and now let's see what he got see if he pops up he's not even like close to popping up conrad javier okay see is this my man is this conrad yeah, so now you got your artwork out there for the world, right? So maybe it's a good thing to be on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's a good thing now to be on Madden, you know? So I, I have no problem with it. But honestly, this is where we got carried away with the, the franchise mode, guys. Oh, let's go back to it so we can laugh, boys. You ready? Here we go. Y'all Madden fans always having to play. Franchise mode is fixed. Why would they continue working on Madden 20 when it's only a couple weeks until 21? I wouldn't call franchise mode fixed when it doesn't have half of what it used to offer in Madden 08 and Madden 09. What about a real superstar mode or a true creative team? Jesus Christ. This is like, this, this stuff, like honestly, I'd be waking up in a good mood. But when I read this stuff, oh my god, my whole my whole life changes. <laughs> Everyone is complaining about the X factors, but if you don't want to use them, then you can just turn them off. But I'm being honest, the X factors all they really do is make great players stick out over the good players. My man is 100% right. I will be honest, I we cannot deny how great the X factors are for making the players stand out from the other ones. Like they succeeded in that. Like Taylor Mays in the middle of the field is absolutely a nightmare. Somebody without an X is literally dog shit. They bro, honestly, one million percent covered it. Fix man and card art. Man 21 moving away from being sim football to attract more gamers. Fix Madden franchise. Like, what are they really mad at? Oh, this game was better. This, like, bro, I could not do this. 
Bro, if I was Clint, you know how many uh, lurk accounts I would have? Just or burner accounts, just to air people out. Oh my goodness, it would be ugly. It would be ugly. Now I'm telling you, no X is dog shit. It is seriously. If you don't have an X, you are dog shit. But if you have an X, best player in the world, man. But for real, the card art is cool. The card art is is, I mean, bro. The shit doesn't. Let, let's be honest. The shit that we're talking about now. If the, if the gameplay is good, all that none of that shit matters. If it, bro, seriously, when the game starts playing, do we ever talk about the card art, or do we ever talk about the halftime shows? Do we ever talk about popcorn prices? It's really shit when we don't have nothing else to talk about. Bro, Skimbo's done with MCS, bro. We are on to Clash of Clans. So like I said, if any of you guys are in Clash of Clans and want to get onto the Needed Gaming Clash of Clans crew, hit us up. You know what I'm saying? Hit us up and, and, and we, we can look to add you. I mean, it's really steep, um, whatchamacallit, there's really steep qualifications in our clan, but I mean, we can definitely uh, start to add you and really think about Think about whether or not we want to, you know what I'm saying? If, we, if we're somebody, if you're somebody that we want to add to the Clash of Clans, really. So check out this tweet, man. If you really want to, you know what I'm saying, check it out. There it is, Ward, you know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I I, I feel like our clan got to step it up, so we're looking for some some ringers out there that play uh, Clash of Clans. So YouTube, if you're in the Clash of Clans, man, hit me up. Hit me up. It has a bigger prize pool than Madden 20. 1 million percent. Has a bigger prize pool than Madden 20. A lot more strategy involved. Uh, we're definitely, yes, definitely Town Hall level 11. Um, we prefer Town Hall 13s, and we prefer some uh, some uh, tournament experience because we're in the tournaments. And, uh, you know, so for me, uh, we're, we're definitely trying to lock in going into this, this, this season of Clash of Clans, giving away over a million dollars. And um, we're, the biggest problem is that we play a lot of Asians. When I say Asians, I mean Asian letters, like the hackers in Call of Duty. We can't beat those guys. That's what we need to go. Like, when we see Americans, they suck at video games. Ass. Anybody like that. Ass. But when we see the Asian letters, we can't beat. Yo, we can't beat the Asian letters. We can't beat them. So we need to get our team together on the same page. So hit up that tweet if you're interested. But let's uh, let's talk about what Clint and, and Agent K actually said in the tournament. Um, let, let, Let's talk about it. Now, I, I got a whole notepad here I want to talk about. Okay? Now, I'll be honest. This is where I kind of wanted to turn the shit off. <laughs> uh, this is where This is where I kind of wanted to turn it off. Now... The first thing they talked about was the celebrations, right? And I was with them. Change back. One, okay, before we get into this, I want to preface all this by saying anything with the buttons doesn't matter. Any button changes don't matter at all. The the thing with the button changes is it it pisses you off the first day you're playing cuz you're used to the old buttons. It absolutely pisses you off and because you're like, "Why would they change the buttons?" But you literally get used to the new buttons in a day. So, like I said, the 365 days you play Madden, the new buttons will piss you off one day. By the second day, your mind and your body will be used to the new buttons. So as far as new buttons and new layouts, it's only a knee-jerk reaction to complain about that. That is 100% your body and your mind is going to overcome that quickly, honestly. So that's what I'm saying. But, as you said, Adruski, it's something that just pisses you off early. But you will get used to it and you will overcome that easily. And it it's hard to think that you will, but it happens so fast, really. Alright, but he did say they changed the celebration. And when he said this, to sell, this is what he said. People want to celebrate and swag into the end zone. But it was too confusing to do it the other way. He said that. That is when I was like, yo, this stream is not for me. It was too confusing and too hard to hold both triggers and hold A or whatever the hell. So how do I even know how to celebrate? It's just second nature for me to celebrate. He said it was too hard for some of our users to do that. I mean, if they can't do that, how the hell are they scoring touchdowns in the first place? Yeah, Michael Vick is fumbling to the crib. That's how they're scoring touchdowns. 
Jeez. So that that kind of was like, okay, what? All right, but this is pretty much the biggest news. Pretty much the biggest news of the whole stream tonight. I mean, there wasn't much use. Bots want to swag. Some people aren't meant for video games, pretty much. Pretty much. Some people just, if you can't celebrate Madden, like, what, what are you doing out here? You feel me? I, I, yeah, I don't know. A franchise, yes, that's the same guy that says fix franchise mode, bro. Yeah. But really, the biggest news was the user is going to be the same as it is on the beta, which is in quicksand, fat feet, concrete shoes. Um, now, I... I honestly never had a problem with the user in any year. In any year of Madden, I never complained about how good the user was, how good Anthony Barr was, how good Lurker is. Never complained about it because if you ask any good passer, right, the user is like lava. You guys ever play that game when you're a kid and you're like, yo, I can't step on the black squares because that's lava or I can't step on this because it's lava. I got to jump to the, you know what I'm saying, chat? The the user is when you're passing, the user is lava. Like you literally are afraid to throw near that person. The whole goal of a passer is to dictate where the user goes. It is one million percent uh my job as a passer and a play designer to make sure the user is not confusing me. Really. Seriously, like that's my job. And to make it slow and, and make it to where it can only, like, to make it how it is now to, because people are getting a bunch of routes covered because they don't know how to put the right routes on the field or they have two slants running right into each other. The Drini X, yes, yes, a, a player can cover two people if they're in the same spot. A player can cover four people if they're in the same spot. You have all the field to work with. How wide is the NFL field? I believe it's four, 54 yards is the width of the NFL field. And obviously, 120 yards wide, or long pause, and 54 yards wide. You have all that space to use your receivers to make sure their lurker doesn't go anywhere. You know? Because you you can watch these great Madden players. Great Madden players might throw picks. They might throw interceptions. But they rarely ever get lurked. In all the tournament Madden that happens... It's rare to lurk a player. It is one. It is rare to lurk somebody. User pick them. It's rare because we understand to to not throw near that player. We understand how to put routes on the field to control where the user goes. We understand that the sideline is our friend because the user isn't going to go all the way out there. We understand that as offensive players. And if you do not understand that, and you're getting four routes lurked, and you cannot control the user, and the user is too good for you, then you, my friend, are not a very good passer. And it's okay to acknowledge that, and then get better. And that is where the fork road, the, the the fork in the road of becoming a great player and becoming forever staying a bot, making trades on the computer on franchise mode. That is where the fork in the road is, P pretty much. Honestly. So for me, the user is 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 um obviously it's going to be slow. Um, we shall see if Lurker makes a bigger deal. I know for me, um, the uh, for me personally, I'm going to find a way to use her safety, a corner, something like that. I did that a lot early last year before linebackers got really fast and mutt. Um, and obviously, uh, Lurker and stuff like that became available for more players. But I'm going to find a way to use her safety. Um, it makes your defense. It makes your defense more predictable, I guess. Um, for me, um, because when you use your safety, you cannot mix up your coverages as well. You know, cover two might be out of the loop. Um, you might have to stay in more of a cover three shell. That is one of the beauties of using a linebacker. You can mix your, your shell up a lot more because you're not taking one of them out of the coverage, honestly. Fleecing the computer on trades is fun. Uh, listen, the day Madden is 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 you know kind of playing to the guys that want to fleece the computer on trades, 
yeah, that's going to go downhill. We're better off going all, all arcade than, 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 you know, catering to the fleece, the computer on trades type of people. Yeah, man, for sure. But, I mean, it's got to be a little bit less quicksand. Maybe regular sand. I don't know. Button mapping. That's what I... And and, and button mapping is... um, Button mapping for me was... What you call it? Button mapping was... It goes back to that notion that I made that it... You know, button changes never really matter. I think... Uh, I, I'm one of the guys that used to really complain about button changes, but for me, as much as we play Madden, you're going to get used to it so fast that you're not even going to realize that they changed the buttons. You won't even realize it. So as far as button mapping, and honestly, what is wrong with the controls they give you? I really don't care. what they, Whatever they do, I'm going to get used to it. I'm a gamer. Like That's just, for me, it's not like a shooting game where you're better if you can slide with A or whatever it may be. It's Madden. I don't think buttons really matter that much. The El Toro, man. The tackle angles. Yeah. By the way, and the last thing that they had brought up, Agent K and Clint, was zone coverage. Zone coverage for me, uh, they said they're going to buff zone coverage, which obviously I guess is good. Um, but I've, I've told you guys before, there is an actual, there is an actual patch already scheduled every year for Madden. It's called the 30 day patch. It's called the first one. And that's where they essentially make the game harder. The first month of the game, they want the game easier. They want the casuals to play the game, you know, so they're going to make the game easier to score, easier to get points. And that is why they're going to keep casuals around new people that bought the game for the first time this month. A new wave of gamers with the new attention on Madden when it first drops. They want these guys playing the game. And uh, for them, that's why it's a little bit easier that first month. And when you go ahead and then once you get that next patch, that 30 days in is always makes the zone tougher. Always makes the zones tougher. And uh, I, I'm assuming it's going to be the same this year. I don't think, that, although they said the zones are going to be a, a little bit better, I don't think they're going to be drastically better uh, going forward when the game first drops. Do I think it's easy to swerve defenders in Madden 21? I don't know. We shall see. Um, I had to play the game a little bit more than I did, honestly. Um, and then film study. Obviously, they took film study out of the game. Huge W for us, boys. Huge W for us. We won that battle. Might be the only battle we win going forward against the franchise guys. Might be the only battle. You know, it might be the only thing we can do. Yes, W's in the chat for no more film study. We fought hard. We did what we could. The franchise guys were all over us. The franchise guys were all over us for film study. Mix up that playbook. Open up the playbook. Film study's coming back. I mean, film study would be... I, I would accept film study if it was an X-Factor. Make an interception, get three hit sticks, make five tackles. Now you have your X-Factor. Now you have film study. Really. It's coming back? No, oh, well... As long as it's an X-Factor, man. It goes back to... I've said this many times. That is their solution for trying to make people run different plays. Yeah, the tuning, it should be an X factor. That's what it should be. You know, it shouldn't be a regular ability like it was in the beta. You know, you like I said, if you can uh if you can't stop or what I said. Film study should not be a regular ability. That you shouldn't be you as a defensive player, hear me on it. This is pretty much as 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 easy and as clear a description in the world. You as a defensive player should not be rewarded simply because I've called the same play over and over. Why should you get a reward? So because you can't stop a play, a play, you get rewarded? Now hear me. Now if you get a hit stick, if you get a fumble, if you get an interception with the player, boom, yes, bring my play up. I don't care if it's the first play I ran all day. I don't care what it is. 
earn that ability. Earn that X factor. Don't just be popping up right away just because you can't stop a play. It's not going to help you. You know? We'll see, man. But listen, was there anything else from the show you watched today that you guys want to talk about is think that important? You know what I'm saying? Or you guys think is, you know, pertinent to the uh, advancement of Madden 21? You know? Film Study 100. Omaha 100. Whatever. I thought it was pretty good. Like I said, thank them guys. for. I'm not. There's no more wish list. I'm over that. I'm over wish list. Over it, witness. You're trolling. Yeah, my, my bro, we literally just talked about that for like 20 minutes. They boosted the stamina. And, and what I heard was the quarterback stamina. My man Haas in here with the tier one. <laughs> now. They increased the AI pass rush. Yeah. Uh. The fatigue, this is how I feel about the quarterback fatigue. I think if they get hit sticked, yes, they should be out the rest of the drive. But if they don't get hit sticked, bro, they, should be, they shouldn't lose that much stamina. Emerald, yeah, that's a good point, but we'll see how. I, honestly, I, I've said it before anything that puts play art up on the screen for your opponent is bad, period. Man, Madden 20, Fist of Cuffs. Madden 21 is going to be the year. I am super geeked for this year. I think it's going to be awesome. I really every, I really think it's just going to be just amazing for everything. From competitive, from, from videos, from content, from uh, interaction with communities to events. I think, I think Madden 21 is going to be great. I think um, we're all getting better at our jobs. And once we, I mean, once they it. Once Man 21 hits and we all hit the ground running, we all keep rolling. I think it's going to be awesome, really. Layton, my guy, man. And honestly, what I feel about, like, bro, if you have a negative attitude or the game's going to suck, bro, bro, like... Bro, get the stick out of your ass. Honestly. Get the stick out of your ass, man. Oh, game's gonna suck. It's arcade. Fix franchise mode. Literally, get the stick out of your ass. Can't be that bad. What is looking bad about it? Like, seriously. Mer the button layouts don't matter. Seriously, button layouts don't matter. It doesn't. You'll get used to it in an hour. Yes, they talk. As I said that, I realized we're probably not having any events. <laughs> Online events. And I'm going to ask you guys, as you know, I, I'm going to have how many accounts, right? I'm going to, I think I want to have three accounts on Madden. I don't want to do no money spent. I think that's going to drive me nuts. I think uh, no money, uh, no money spent would drive me nuts. I think the hundred, the one one hundred dollar bill, and build a team would be all I need, bro. I'm definitely gonna have all money spent. You already know that. You know. No, I don't want to do an Eagles team. Nine accounts? No way somebody has nine accounts. Oh, I bought builders, Javi. I bought builders on Clash of Clans. They were like five bucks for two new builders. I said, say no more. Bro, pocket passers are cool. Uh, honestly, Ace, pocket passers, uh, people use pocket passers this year. Everybody used pocket passers. Pocket passers, honestly, were, were almost at, like, the thing that killed pocket passers this year was the the golden tickets. Before that, people had hot route master. Honestly, I don't know what the hell DB lockout DB lock mechanic. I, I don't know. I don't know. 
I honestly I don't like judging the game or being judgmental towards the game until I really play it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I always thought the quarterback should fumble in the pocket. The quarterback definitely shouldn't fumble in the pocket if you're on conservative. But, I mean, when you think about the NFL, you know, like that's probably half, if not 75% of fumbles that actually happen in the NFL is the quarterback in the pocket, really. Skino, I don't know. You want to comment under the under the tweet. And Skimbo, I don't know if y'all good or not. Skimbo is the one that hits me up and says, this guy is pretty good. Let's give him a tryout. I'm going to see what he got, and he'll hit you up. Not me, bro. I don't really be knowing. I agree, Damas. I really think Man 21 is going to be tough. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the yard. I'm excited about a new game. I'm excited about new videos. I'm excited about uh, streams popping, videos popping, just the entire game being that popular, even if it's for one month. I'm, I'm really excited about it, you know? Me personally, you know? And, and p- that's why I hate just, I just hate negative proof. There he is. No, my town, my townhouse is on. I, dude, I'm like a level four or some shit. Well, my yard team. I don't know who my yard team. Now, honestly, we have a strong six. We're gonna need, we're gonna need some bench players for our yard team. Honestly, we're gonna need some bench players. Now, I, I honestly, I'm gonna pick some of y'all up all the time playing yard during the week and stuff. I mean, my six obvious is Bugs, User, Trey, and Clef, and Skimbo, really. So, you know what I'm saying? But one, Skimbo not going to play this shit. I got to practice. I got to practice. He's not going to play yard. Bugs, he available to stream like one hour a week. User is probably like a half hour a week. Trey would be down to play all the time. Clef is like, he'll play like two hours per week. You know what I'm saying? So more than likely, uh, Big Ned, thank you, man. I appreciate it. You know, so I'm going to pick up random people, and I'm assuming we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up. I'll, I'll probably play with CC and play with Throne and play with Problem all the time. Really, honestly, yeah, yard's going to be tough. It, it, there's no way it's not tough. Um, we're going to make it tough. Even if it's ass, we're going to do our best to make it tough, really. I already know that. Ooh, I'll tell you, man. You just talk nonstop. It just, like, takes the oxygen out of your brain and you get, like, tired. Yard, a new MCS cash event. Honestly, it really could be. I Yo... Team, people love watching teams play. I, I really do. I think there's such a market for it, especially in Madden because you're not used to it. You know, obviously, Madden, you're used to watching two people play, but when you get a group of guys and you make them play together and have teamwork and stuff, that's when you, uh, I, I think it would be really, people would really like to watch it, honestly. The best thing to focus on beginning of Madden 21. I don't know. It depends on what you want to do. Do you want to be good at Madden? Do you want to try to compete? Mutt. I I, I would do Mutt right away. I don't think... I don't think more people watch Yard than real Madden, but I, I think it could be tough. I think the reason why more people would watch it is I think more people would play it. I think it it's more accessible for kids, you know, You know, I, I I would assume the prize pool is lower. I, I would assume the prize pool is lower. Um, with, honestly, in in with everything going on with all this virus and people not working, and I don't know how it affects gaming industries. I'm assuming it affects people somehow, right? Like it's got to affect everybody financially, you know. And I don't know how they can, you know, then turn around and put out more money. Let me really think about it. Yeah. I think it has to affect every company, even the biggest companies to the smallest ones. You know. 
but tra like travel okay but now they have to send all this equipment across the world it is it more expensive to fly a human to california or fly equipment from california to your house you know i would assume it's probably more expensive to send equipment to your house than to fly you out to california honestly I get that question like how much should you spend the first day of Madden 20 man I this is how I've always before I was a, a, a streamer and some people but I don't want to watch play now me I'm going to spend thousands of dollars like I want the best team possible in the first two hours right for me personally when I used to play mutt if I had a quarterback if I had Carson Wentz if I had Dak if I had uh, who else like any quarterback, give me Russell Wilson. If I get obviously Lamar or Mahomes, if I get uh, Brady, if I get Rodgers, if I have a quarterback that's not going to throw the shit to the third row every other pass, I'm playing head to head. That's pretty much one million percent how I felt about Mutt my whole life, really. No, I mean stick to honestly. I'm not. I'm not pressed on. Oh, give us more money, blah, 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 blah. blah. Because I've, I've put myself in a position to make my own career without having to rely on getting paid, you know, for doing well in a tournament. So for me, yes, obviously, I'm, I do all I can to make sure there's a bigger prize pool. Um, but logically, I don't feel sorry for anybody that chooses not to pursue other avenues to make money. If you don't, if you don't choose to pursue, to pursue these avenues, you will be at the mercy of what EA tells you you can make. You know, and I never wanted to be at that position. I, you know, I, I counted my blessings and made sure I was able to capitalize on every uh, financial avenue I could in gaming. And so for me, I have no sympathy for people that don't choose to do the hard work that I have the last three or four years, honestly. Seriously, like, I have no sympathy for those guys. You know. Yeah, I, I honestly have, I, I've always felt like, if I have a quarterback, I can play. If I have a qu quarterback, I can play. Um, no, why? Why would I have sympathy for those people? Why? Why? Like I just don't understand. Why would I? You know. And this is the thing. Most of the people that do that, they understand the position they're in. You know. They understand that. No. Nobody's upset about that. Like, Kiv isn't upset about it, crying about it. You know what I'm saying he knows the position that he chose as far as this is how I'm going to make money. Same thing with Skimbo. Like, he knows, like, okay, this is what I chose. I'm I'm at the mercy of VA to tell me how much I can make from winning. You know, I, I, I never was one to settle for what they allowed me to make. Because I knew how it was. Like, bro, I've played Madden my whole life. I won one tournament. You know, and I've been good at it my whole... I've been good at man my whole life. You know? I mean, they don't want to get into content. That's their choice. Not everybody wants to get into content creation. Not everybody, you know, really has a desire for that. You know? And that's more power to them, man. They want to rock out and, and compete, for sure. The only negative to that really is their what they're able to make. And it can all go down the drain of one loss, really. D Bird, we talked about that over and over and over and over, bro. I appreciate you joining the stream, no? You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm super excited about man twenty twenty one. Bro, Nick Foles is not a top hundred player enough. That top hundred list. I don't even want to talk about it because it's so dog shit. What's your advice on being consistent with content creation? So this is my advice. You know what fuels me on YouTube more than anything? Honestly, you know what fuels me is the people like my YouTube. Like, obviously, if I go to my YouTube, right, and I look at Xerxes or I look at Tok or I look at CC, I'm like, damn, my YouTube sucks, right? And that would be depressing. What motivates me is the people with smaller YouTube channels that keep grinding. When I look down at other YouTube, like this dude's putting out videos and he's getting 500 views per video. Like, bro, and he's still grinding it. So who the hell am I that I can't grind my YouTube when I'm getting five, 10 times as much views as he is? You know? 
This guy's working his ass off. Honestly, for me, it's been easier to try to like get away from people or like you know make my channels bigger than other people than try to catch up to to bigger YouTubers. Like I get motivated by other Madden players that are grinding. Honestly. You know? My man Joke is in the chat with the host. I mean, Joke, he got to get the host, I mean, you know, about an hour earlier, but you know. No, for real. I, I really, my biggest motivation is other YouTubers that are like other grinders of Madden, honestly. that They really motivate me. Will the Madden Classic be online? Fate, I 1 million percent uh, believe, yes, everything will be online in Madden 21. Everything. Honestly, I, there's no reason to have anything. After the success of the Madden Bowl, there's really no reason to have any tournament. Honestly, for me, for me personally, um, I, I, I don't see why they would go back to the old way of doing it, really. Joke, I mean... No, I don't think... Nah, joke. People are going to vote against you. You know why I joke? Because I've said this a million times to my chat, to every chat. Nobody likes the guy that sucks his own dick, bro. Nobody likes that. See, and you, you're the guy that sucks your own dick a little too much. So people are naturally going to root against you and say, no, no way. You know? That's just natural. That's natural human nature to never like the guy that sucks his own dick. Never. Do I think the NFL cancels? Will that have an impact on competitive men? Absolutely not. DreamHack will not happen for another year. Probably next fall. No roster updates. Yeah. I mean... Nobody really, regs isn't really a competitive mode except early in the year before roster updates even happen, so I don't know. I don't know. So, I don't know how the NFL has any effect on, on Madden. I don't think it does, honestly. Yeah, every turn, everything's gonna be online. They cancel Little League. Yeah, GG's, bro. GG's. I just hope one day. I hope, man. I hope uh, 21 or 2021 we at least back to normal. I don't think the NFL. I don't know. Bro, they better come up with something crazy sticks. That's like me. I wake up on a Tuesday like shit. I have nothing to talk about. What am I gonna. Bro. Yeah. Take clubs. Oh, joke! You're on the club series is ass bandwagon. I mean, I I I feel like I started that bandwagon, but I didn't want to. I didn't really want to really push that bandwagon because I had been so ass in club series that I didn't want to be the bitter person to really complain about a tournament that I was ass at, you know. And I felt like I wasn't allowed to complain about it because I was ass at it. But the club series is absolutely killing the MCS. Absolutely fucking killing the MCS. If an NFL team owners decide to run a man league. I honestly don't think Madden is a league thing. I don't think it's a league. I, I just don't think it's... League, a league for Madden just isn't the way to go. A tournament is the way to go. That's the way to go. A, a one day or one weekend tournament. You know. I mean, I kind of think... Like, money-wise, obviously, the last event isn't the biggest, but I still think it is. I, Madden 17 was the biggest. You know, I got, you know when I got over hosting the titty streamers? When I realized they're all airheads. And they're all stupid. And also, I stopped hosting the titty streamers when I realized you guys all act like, like 13-year-olds when there's a female streamer. Everybody's corny. Everybody in the man community is completely corny when there's a female around. And all the female streamers are airheads. That's when I said, yeah, I'm done with that. They'd be like, ha, 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 dub dot w says he'll run blast on you. Ha, 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 he'll blast your ass. Ha, ha, ha. 
Telling you, that's how it be. Club Series is ass. Club Series is ass because it's easy to qualify. There's zero competition on the leaderboard. Um, people pick their, their route of where they want to play in the tournament. Um, it gives out money to way too many people. Um, it's spread it's spread out amongst four months. It, it con- conflicts with the schedule of the other tournaments. Um, different teams are engaged at different levels. Some teams throw their own event. Other teams don't. Uh, there's so many negatives. But, I mean, ultimately there are positives. You get to represent an NFL team. Pretty cool. I never had the opportunity. Um, I would assume it's pretty cool. I would love to one day. But um, uh, for me, uh, the negatives of it. The negative effects on the MCS structure are detrimental to the success of, of the season. And you can simply look back at the last year without the MC, without Club Series as the best MCS year. I mean, that's the biggest evidence there is for that. Would an MCS CFM work? No. No, I, I don't think it would ever work. No. You know. Madden is a tournament thing. It is a one game thing. It is a lock in and play a one game. Let's play this today. Let the winners want to be tonight. MCS squats. If the mode was good, if the mode played well, if the mode, if we enjoyed it, if it was uh, balanced, it could it could be a possibility. Do I think I'll ever make a live event again? I mean, yes. Why? I mean, it's not the hardest thing in the world. And CFM, I, 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 yeah, the world is making me hate CFMs, really. You know. Yeah, the yard, the yard, the yard has a lot of potential. I'll be honest, the yard has super a lot of potential. But we're we're going on a super tangent, nonsensible tangent. Let me see if I'm fans are cool. They're just crybabies. Yeah, LCQ is definitely tough. Is definitely really tough. Um. Why do Compton's 187 competitive replays? Young Metro, I don't know. But I think I think the pros are popular, you know? Like, if you look at the, the his his ones that pop the most, are like Skimbles and Kivs and stuff like that, you know? And that's probably your only chance to really see them play so people will watch it. All right, the Madden bus, I never, ever want to be on a Madden bus. I never want to be in a house with people. I never want to be on a Madden bus. No, no, never. I don't know why y'all ever, anybody ever thinks that good. So we want to mix reality TV with gaming. Not for me, bro. Do you think you should own the content of live event? What does that mean? Should Skimble get paid for the Compton videos? Is that what you're asking? No, I'm not leaving the stream up. No, it'll be on YouTube tomorrow. No, Talib, no. No, it doesn't take Skimbo much effort to put his video, to put his game on his own YouTube channel. If he wanted that money, he could easily do it. And he knows that and everybody knows that. So if they if they want that money, they could do it. But they don't do it. So like I said, I have no sympathy for people that don't put in the work and then still want to get paid. I'm saying Trey, there he is, man. My man DJ with the twenty dollar holler, my guy. Thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. Trey, we was talking about the yard, bro. Trey, we were talking about the yard and how we got a built-in six, right? I feel like we have a built-in six to play the yard, but our six is not reliable, Trey. We gonna have to pick up some new people, Trey, for real, for real. My man DJ in the chat. Thank you, man. I appreciate the don the dono the twenty dollar holler. Thank you, man. I because we got Skimbo and Bugs and Clef and User, but I feel like they're not committed. Bugs stream Bugs good for one hour a week. He got a bedtime. 
Use her the same thing. Skimbo gonna play once a week and then I got a lab. And Clef wishy washy, bro. They not grinders. Do you think streaming all the time affected competitive? Of course. I mean, anytime you're doing something other than getting better at Madden or labbing Madden or, or, or per, you know, progressing your skills in Madden, it's going to hold you back because most of these people aren't stopping doing that. That is their goal. Not, we're not, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. I'm not playing with, with Wesley. No. We could pick up Journey. I would rock. We should just grab the NFA guys and have one big squad, and we'll always pick six out of that. Because Journey be up. He be ready, bro. He don't be sleeping. He got a weird sleep schedule. He be ready. Journey and Rage and Ghost and shit. You know, I mean, I guess people see what you're doing. But Flash Gore, my, my plan with that was I want to be good enough to, to the people know. You know what I'm saying? That's how I always felt about that. Yeah, we're going to have tryouts and everything, bro. Bro, that would be hell. Tryouts for the needed, uh, <laughs> the needed Yara squad. <laughs> Yo, that would be hell. That would be super hell. Facts. But boys, this was the needed podcast. I felt like we talked about everything we could. I felt like we talked about everything we could. Next week, another week. These were my topics. I was gonna put out next week. Chat, chat, and YouTube. One, I wanted to rate, I wanted to rank the top 10 Maddens the last decade. Rank the Maddens from the last decade, 1 to 10. You know what I'm saying? 1 to 10, rank the Maddens in the last decade. That is a topic we're going to go on for next week. So make sure you guys are here next week. Uh, for me, Madden 20 is probably 10. Honestly, Madden 20 is probably 10 and Madden 19 is probably 9, honestly. You know, but that's all. But this was the Needle Podcast episode 91. So be ready for next week. Give me your rankings of the last 10 years, the last decade, rank the Maddens.